Vernon Law and this is a quick pediatrics QPED QP okay guys so today I'm going to talk briefly and very important clinical findings you know characteristics of the murmur that is characteristics of murmur Okay, of diseases, especially VSD, ASD, aortic stenosis, pulmonary stenosis, okay, and some other what you call cardiac lesions disorders. Okay, so let's talk about this and to to understand what you call uh, murmur. You should know the chambers of the heart. This is right atria, right auricle. This is right ventricle this is r this is left auricle and left ventricle this is septum okay so bicuspid and this is, this is a tricuspid this is a bicuspid wall and here it goes okay pulmonary artery uh, to the lungs if this is a lung let me draw over here lung okay lung and from a lung it goes to the to pulmonary veins okay so let's talk about the VSD ventricular septal defect ventricular septal defect VSD ventricular septal defect characteristic of the murmur of the VSD is loud harsh pansystolic murmur VSD is nothing but if it's here loud harsh pansystolic murmur at left sternal border okay radiating all over the chest okay Try to look for recurrent chest infection in the patients. Okay, what's the characteristic? It's a loud, harsh, pansystolic murmur at left sternal border, radiating all over the chest. Okay, let's talk about the ASD, atrial septal defect. Atrial here. Okay, here, right? Atrial septal defect, right? It's a soft systolic murmur in second left intercostal space, and the wide fixed splitting of the second heart sound. Why there is a systolic murmur? Because the murmur is produced during the contraction, right, of the right atria. No, left ventricle. Okay, remember this is when left ventricle undergoes a contraction, and there's a blood flow back into the right auricle through this AST. Then it, it is called as a murmur. That the murmur that is heard is soft systolic murmur in the le second left intercostal space wide fixed splitting of the second sound is really very important point okay then we have what you call uh, aortic stenosis aorta arises from left ventricle let me draw over here okay Are you aorta okay aorta aorta we have what is the characteristic of the murmur of aortic stenosis it's systolic ejection murmur at right upper sternal border radiating to the neck down the left sternal border okay remember systolic ejection murmur systolic ejection murmur why systolic ejection because when there is a systole when the left ventricles are contracting the ejection of the blood into this narrowed what you call uh, uh, valves of the aorta the, that leads to system systolic ejection murmur got it excellent what about the aortic rejection it's when the blood flows back into the what you call left ventricle that is during the diastole that's why the, you will get the diastolic murmur got it okay what about the pulmonary stenosis here is a wall pulmonary wall okay what's the characteristic of the pulmonary stenosis systolic ejection murmur but same as aortic but remember the position over the upper part of the left chest anteriorly and conducted to the back usually preceded by an ejection click Okay, aortic stenosis murmur is a systolic ejection murmur at right upper sternal border radiating to the neck. Very important. And same thing here, pulmonary stenosis, systolic ejection murmur over the upper part of the left chest anteriorly and conducted to the back. Very important. Conducted to the back. Okay. And what about the what do you call uh, uh, PDA, patent ductus arteriosus? So machinery murmur, continuous murmur. Pan systolic murmur, okay, in the neonates. That's it. 
these are the important things regarding the aortic regurgitation and other types of murmur i'm going to discuss in another video okay guys thank you so much for watching take care